four density problems. In A, we're given sodium, an element that actually is uh, less dense than water, although extremely reactive with water. Its density is given to us here. Its volume is given to us, and we're asked to calculate the mass. So it's important to uh, understand that the uh, density formula relates the two. And if we want to find uh, the mass, we can use algebra to solve for mass. And that's just simply equal to density times uh, volume. The volume units in cubic centimeters will uh, work with the density, which is grams per cubic centimeter. So the volume units are the same here. So if we plug this in, we get 0 0.97 grams per cubic centimeter times 4.00 cubic centimeters. Okay, the cubic centimeters cancels. And what do we get on our calculator? 0.97 times 4. I get 3.88. Okay, initially on my calculator. And we want to think about, okay, how many significant figures do I need? In the value 0.97, we have just two sig figs, the 9 and the 7. In 4.00, we have three sig figs, the 4, the 0, the 0. So we want to round this off to two sig figs, okay, to the tenths place. Now this digit here is greater than 5, so we want to round this up. So this becomes 3.9, uh, and the units here are grams. After the cubic centimeters cancel, we're left with grams. Okay, so that's the mass of the sodium. In this other problem, we're going to uh, proceed similarly. Density is known. Volume is known. So we want to solve for mass. It's important to use the units here and realize there's going to be a situation. The volume uh, of milliliters in the given quantity isn't going to work well with density, which is grams per liter. So let's convert the milliliters into liters. And we do that by creating a decimal place and using the King Henry to divide by 1,000. Move that decimal place over 3. So this is the same thing as 0.125 liters. Okay. So now we can use the equation that we have up above. Mass is equal to density, 3.6 grams per liter, times the volume. Okay, and the liters cancels. And let's go ahead and punch that in on our calculator. And what I get is 0 0.45. Okay, so let's think about the uh, rounding here. 3.6 has two sig figs. 0 0.125 has three sig figs. So we want to round the result off to two sig figs, which uh, looks like we have already. So let's go ahead and write in the units there. We're left with grams after those liters cancel. So that's the mass of uh, chlorine, which is a gas. Thanks for watching.